Amador versus Foothill. Which one is better? Short answer, Foothill. I'm mostly joking, but I'm kind of serious. No, I went to Foothill growing up, so naturally I have love for the school I went to, especially when Amador was our school rival from the other side of town all through high school. In all seriousness, both schools are amazing. Look, I had a lot of friends who went to Amador when I was going to Foothill, and everyone got a similar education regardless of whether they went to Foothill or Amador. Foothill High School is located off of Foothill Road, of course, just south of West Las Positas, and Amador High School is located off of of Santa Rita Road just north of downtown Pleasanton. There are a couple differences between both schools which we will discuss later but as far as similarities go they're both really really nice. They have both just recently finished construction to build more classrooms as well as undergone full exterior paint jobs to freshen them up so they both have money constantly being put into them to improve both the functionality and the overall look of the schools. They are both really well located as well, just on opposite sides of Pleasanton. But I have to tell you from a student's perspective, Amador is probably a better located school because of its proximity to downtown Pleasanton. As a student growing up going to high school, I would have loved to have downtown Pleasanton just a five minute walk away for after you get out of school, but going to Foothill, that just wasn't an option. Both schools offer AP or advanced placement classes, film and home economics classes, science, math, history, economics, art and all other typical educational classes, counseling support, college and career support, and school resource officers on site. Foothill also offered an A and a B period class for students to go to class before school started and after school started if needed. I assume Amador has the same, but I don't know 100%. Both schools have similar sports programs if your kids are into sports, including football, baseball, basketball, soccer, swimming, lacrosse, cheer, and dance, golf, tennis, water polo, cross country running, track and field, softball, diving, volleyball, and wrestling. Both schools have an AVID program or an advancement via individual determination, which is a support program for grades four through 12, which prepares students for college eligibility and success. My personal Personal experience at Foothill was amazing. Both the teacher staff and the management staff, like principals and vice principals, etc., were always really supportive and could answer any questions at any time when asked. At the time that I went to Foothill, there was a lot of school spirit that gathered together for both school functions and sporting events. I have heard, though, unfortunately, through the grapevine, that the school spirit has kind of died down in the last few years, but I am hoping really hoping that that spirit comes back because it was a great time in high school and I had a lot of fun as a result of that. Both Amador and Foothill are rated 9s out of 10s on greatschools.org and Amador has 2,713 students whereas Foothill has 2,178 students. For Amador, when we look at test scores, college readiness, and equity, it scores a 10 out of 10 for test scores, a 10 out of 10 for college readiness, and a 6 out of 10 for equity. When we look at Foothill for the same stats, it rates a 10 out of 10 on test scores, a 10 out of 10 on college readiness, and a 7 out of 10 on equity. Both both schools are for grades 9 through 12, so freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior, and you can find more information specific to test scores and other statistics on greatschools.org. I'll put the link in the bio. Overall, I encourage everybody to do your own research if you are moving to Pleasanton and you have kids who are either in middle school or already in high school so that you can look at specifics of what each school offers and see what fits your kids needs best. If your primary concern is finding the best school for your child, then I suggest you find the best school and then look for a house that is zoned for that school. If you don't have a specific preference for the school, but more importantly, the neighborhood and the home, then I suggest you look for the neighborhood and home first and then just have your kid go to whatever school is zoned for that property. I can tell you from my experience and my other clients who have moved to the area, sometimes they have a specific school in mind and then we look for a house that is zoned for that school. Other times I have clients who want the perfect house and neighborhood, so they find that first and then their kids go to whatever school is zoned for that home. Knowing that a majority of the public schools that are zoned for really any house in any neighborhood in the Tri-Valley in San Ramon Valley is gonna be pretty similar to the others, so they know it's gonna be a good school regardless and the house and neighborhood is most important to them. I hope this helped you get a little more insight as to the differences between Amador and Foothill and what you can expect if you need any more information or have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to me directly by phone, text, or email. My information is going to be at the bottom of this video and in the description. Thank you so much for watching.